Today is What's New Wednesday, and we're going to be talking about the recent electronics ban on flights from the Middle East and Africa. So let's get right into it. I will cry at a commercial. If you're doing any traveling soon, there might be a couple things to keep in mind. Passengers coming from eight countries in the Middle East and Africa will not be able to bring any electronics with them on board larger than a smartphone. The eight countries included are Egypt, United Arab Emirates, Turkey, Qatar, Jordan, Kuwait City, Morocco, and Saudi Arabia. Passengers departing the U.S. will still be able to take their electronics on board with them. So the 10 airlines that are affected are Egypt Air, Emirates Air, Etihad Airways, Kuwait Airways, Qatar Airways, Royal Air Morocco, Royal Jordanian Airlines, Saudi Arabia Airlines, and Turkey. Airline. My question is, what sparked this ban instituted by the Department of Homeland Security? Anyone could easily create a remote device with very cheap and easy to source parts that could detonate an explosive device that was checked in baggage under the plane. Here are a few of my personal concerns. Lost or stolen items, stolen data, damage or theft of items, unruly children, and I think even potentially autistic children and adults who rely on devices for therapeutic reasons. While I was listening to the news and reading the stories, all this kind of got me thinking, what about electronic cigarettes? Well, here's the policy. Electronic cigarettes, while they can't be used in flight, can be carried on your person or in your carry-ons and cannot be carried in checked baggage, which means under the plane. Personally, I think that's a little hypocritical and a little backwards. We all have seen the stories and heard the news about batteries that explode in e-cigarettes, people being injured, houses being burned down or partially burned down. Also, another thing to consider is that not all terrorists or people that are trying to cause harm come from Africa or the Middle East. Uh, consider all of the attacks that we've had in the recent past in Paris. It's hard to pick and choose countries and airlines that should not be allowed to have these devices on board when there are other ways to get around these things and it's not necessarily going to stop anybody that has the resources or the manpower to do these things. But that's just me. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not working for Homeland Security. so. Hopefully they know what they're doing. I hope you enjoyed today's What's New Wednesday. I love you guys. I really do appreciate you guys. And hopefully I'll see you back here for tomorrow's Thoughtful Thursday.